So my name is Lillian Macau Galinoma. I'm the talent manager at TBL Group and uh, TBL Group Tanzania Breweries Limited Group. A few years ago, we we're known as breweries, so we we're well known for beer, just beer, Castle Light, you know, the big players in the market, Kilimanjaro and uh, Balimi, and almost people don't know Balimi, but it's upmarket, Northwest. Uh, but we are progressing. We're changing from being just a beer company to a beverage company. So right now we've got spirits and wines. Um, I don't know if you know Konyagi. And uh, of course, we've got famous wines in there, Dodoma wine. And we've got uh, opaque beer. So basically, we're segmenting into every part of the market that we hadn't tapped into before. And um, it's great opportunities. So we're constantly growing, we're constantly being innovative, we're looking for new ways of doing things. So it's that, the challenge of where will we be in five years from now? What can we do with those five years? And do we have the capability to take us to those five years? First of all, we recently won Employer of the Year. We have been uh, recognized for the best practices at the workplace. And um, I'm proud to say that, yes, we are the company of choice. You know, if anybody is out there, great talent, where should you be working? You should be working with us. We've also been recognized consistently as the largest taxpayer in Tanzania. So um, amongst the size and whatnot, we are still a good employer. So I'd like to keep it at that. We're a large company, but we're also a good employer. So that's what we're well known for. <laughs> So basically, we recognize that in order to get to the next step, you know, what I've been talking about innovation and whatnot, we need to um, make our people able to take us there. So how do, we improve, how do we build on their capabilities? How do we identify talent? And what do we do for those specific talents to make sure that they're consistently engaged and uh, challenged in what they're doing? But it's not just a special focus on challenge. I'll say the whole business. OK, um, one, we're, we communicate a lot. Um, we have forums where people can exchange ideas. We have our MD who goes around into all the regions and he has a conversation with people. He uh, gives an update of what's going on in the business. We also have um, constant communications. We've got a great communications team, um, emails, notice board, every way to reach out to employees. Soon we'll be doing the SMSing, um, you know, vibes, you know. Hey, this is a phone on, on TBL or TBL group, yeah. <laughs> So an engaged employee for me is someone who looks forward to having that day, regardless of what challenges are there. Maybe embrace them and see what else they can do better. And uh, another way of putting it in a simple um, definition is the emotional engagement with the business. Uh, if you're in trouble, do you feel like you're in trouble as well? And how can you be a part of the solution um, rather than you know saying, oh, we're doomed for today. So how can you emotionally engage with the business and take us through to the next level? So that's how I see engagement. Because engagement uh, varies. It's not just the money that you pay. It's also what else you offer in terms of development. Uh, does the employee feel safe at work um, in a safe working environment? Do they feel like they're being listened to? So we, we cater for all those areas. And of course, um, there are instances, maybe, um, maybe few in, my, in our case, where we've had employees who are not as engaged. So you have them coming to work. They do the bare minimum, but they do not push them beyond. And once we see that happening, we actually do engage with the employee and trying to find out what the, what the cause of you know, that feeling is and uh, how we could solve it. You know, sometimes it's not always um, about money. It's other things affecting them at home. So. Um, in terms of affecting the business, again, slacking. You know, we want people who can be engaged, people who can go beyond what is just required, the daily job. You know, how much more can you offer and how do we develop you to be that person? The business has its goals and we have the people. And as long as the business and the people are not talking, there will be a gap. But the more they're talking, the more people are interested in the business, and the more the business is interested in the people, you see it moving. So there's a quote that says, take care of your people, and your people take care of your business. And we live by that big time at TBL. Yeah, so. I would say in terms of uh, learning and development, 
We're passionate about what we do. Um, we preach a lot about uh, career development. And again, career is not necessarily just climbing up the ladder. It's not about getting to the top just. It's what you can do to better yourself in what you're doing and how you could progress within that. So uh, learning and development budget is huge, absolutely huge. And um, it's something, I mean, that's why we have an L&D function. So it's something that we, we're passionate about. I would also say uh, in terms of uh, EVP, you know, we want our employees to feel like they're catered for, they're being listened to. Uh, so we do have forums where they can talk about um, things that are going well for them, things that are, that are not going well, things that we should continue doing well. So um, I would say that we actively involve and engage with people at all levels from time to time. Um, and it's, it's, it's great. And we encourage managers to do it as well. It's not just an HR initiative. It needs to be owned by the line. It needs to be owned by everyone. Otherwise, it will just be seen as an HR process at the end of the day. And these are not just processes. Once they're fixed, once you fix, it's a glue you know, to fixing relationships and having people um, enjoy what they're doing. So once we do that, then you notice that people are doing, they're happy. Empowerment has proven to be a huge thing, even in the literature, when you look um, into that. Um, we let people have ownership of what they're doing. We want them to feel a part of the business and drive what, they're, what we're doing. Of course, sometimes we have guidelines, but you own it. You own it and you show you're accountable for it. Uh, two, engaged. Um, we've had surveys that have shown us that our employees are 90% engaged, which is a good thing, but it doesn't mean the work stops here. We still continue in, uh, working on that. And the last thing I would say is innovation. Um, Business is growing. Again, five years ago, we we're just doing beer. Today, we're beer spirits and opaque beer. We're catering for everyone. Anyone in Manzese, they can afford our beers, our products, and whatever. So in five years' time, I see us evolving, and it's with these three qualities that will take us there. So I would say it's, it's just what the future holds, you know? What challenges are ahead of us, and how can we tap into them? You know, if you're drinking something at lunchtime, it should be from our company. If you're eating something, maybe it should be from our company. So that's how we're constantly pushing ourselves to think beyond just having a beer company or beverage company. Yeah.